Hello, Will Greenwald. Do you remember yes. democracy? Remember this idea Vaguely? that you would vote for people who are supposed to represent your interests and they weren't just complete scumbags? Remember that? We're starting out rolling, aren't we? Remember yeah. that idea? I kind of remember idea, it, yeah. That idea, as we're told, goes back to ancient Greece. You know what else is in ancient Greece? I thought that's where you're going to go with it. All right, great. You know what else is in set in ancient Greece? Uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, which we're playing right now. Um, I was so it, expecting you to say Origins just accidentally. It's called Assassin's Creed Odyssey. You are you're taking your assassin's hood off of things, you're throwing them into objects, you're possessing them. And to be clear, this takes place before Origins, right? Yes, yes. The last Assassin's Creed game, last year Assassin's Creed Origins, this game takes place maybe 500 years before that. So. I can't wait for the sequel to be Rise of the Assassin's Creed. <laughs> yeah, it's going <laughs> to... Yeah. Um, but yeah, we're playing Assassin's Creed Origin. Uh, uh, see, you, 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 yeah. you're done yeah. with me. Playing Assassin's Creed Odyssey on the Xbox One X. Mm -hmm. uh, it's out... Uh, the end of next week, mm -hmm. so we are limited in certain things that we can show and talk about. We can't give any plot. Um, but we can kind of mess around in the sort of opening kind of tutorial island for a bit mm -hmm. and take some of your questions uh, on Facebook or on Twitch, so just have those, leave those there. Um, so I, this, I've not gotten too far in this version that I've gotten this review version, but I have gone to two hands-on events uh, where I've maybe played maybe like five hours of the game in total. Mm -hmm. So I can answer some stuff beyond what we're going to see here. I think you should just find a place where you can go and kill some people. Yeah, because it's very pretty. But you are said, are you an assassin? I am a merc. I am. Are a, they things now? Not yet. I am a mercenary. Um, I'm this sort of exiled Spartan, Cassandra. Mm -hmm. You can play as a man or a woman. I chose to play as a woman because it's like the closest we're going to get to a Wonder Woman video game. Yeah, kind of. Um, so you're just kind of taking. Looks like it. That's... So did you play much of Assassin's Creed Origins? A little, yeah. So. Okay, so this game is taking a lot of that kind of more open RPG structure. Right. We are leveling up, and you're getting all this loot. Like you have the Skyrim compass on the top of the screen? Yeah. Um, I think more so like the Witcher is what they're kind of going for. Yeah, I don't get any of it works. Just the, that, those icons, hey, go to this thing for a thing you can do. Yeah, so we're, we're just going to take up some side quests here uh, and then just see how that goes. So uh, after this, like maybe four more games in, is there going to be an Assassin's Creed game where you're the same character but you have a beard and have a better personality? <laughs> um, is that an SEO reference? No, it's the God of War reference. Oh, okay. Um, so this is new in this game though. Uh, choosing your dialogue mm -hmm. is kind of Mass Effect sort of dialogue thing. Look at her arm veins. Look at the arm veins on everyone That's in this game. That's weirdly impressive. Yeah. Uh, so you're looking for a spear, or does she just want a spear? Uh, I'm trying to get the spear. Okay. So I can be a jerk here, or I could say I'll do it. And I'm going to do it, because we need content for you, this live stream. Do you have Renegade interrupts? Can you just like press red trigger and punch her? Uh, it's not like that. Okay. Um, I do have... In some of the later missions, you know, I do have romance interrupts. Well, not interrupts, but like, I do have romantic options. But um, you can read my first preview about how horny this game is, which I don't think because I, I don't think we'll get that in that this stream. But that part of it, when I earn when I earn sixty nine thousand experience points about for to say. Um, for a successful romantic conquest, I was like, maybe this game's got something going on, and maybe it does. Let's find out. Yeah, I totally would be playing it, but I'm still playing Spider Man. <laughs> Uh, but if you're an Xbox One owner, you can't play Spider-Man, so hey, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Yeah, I mean, we're playing this on Xbox, so out. yeah. Um, also, if you're an American Switch owner, you can't play Assassin's Creed Odyssey. But if you're a Japanese one... Yeah, that's you can, really weird, but... You can get this streaming version. Um, so this is also from Origins. Instead of the sort of Detective Vision stuff, yeah. you now have this bird drone that you use to kind of spot targets. Then you go back into Xeno mode and run. Yeah. I'm not even sure I'm tracking the right quest. So yeah. what weapons do you have so far? Do you just have that weird like thing on your back? Or? Yeah, I have this, and I have, I have this, and I have a bow, and then I have, I think, like a, like a regular sword, too. Do you desynchronize if you just start murdering people? Uh, no. So in this, because you're a mercenary, um, no, you kind of have more leeway with um, what you're allowed to do. Uh, it's just your, your like, wanted level is going to go up. Okay, so, let's murder. Yeah. Um, and that's a good thing to mention. That thing on the lower right looks like a Spartan uh, cop meter from your GTA. Yeah. So yeah, I just I just murdered that bystander there. Yeah. And one person freaked out. No one else cares. Yeah. Um, I feel like I'm not tracking the question. Like just a couple of them are just like bitter and going like, oh, I hate this village. Question. Is Xena's frisbee in the game? Um, the chakram? 
You know what? Again, <laughs> we just got it. There's a preview of it, so I can't say for sure what's going to be all in it yet. I but used that'd be very good. You did? I tried using it when I was in the SCA, the Society for Creative Anachronism, which is like Ren Faire, only even bigger nerds. So I have learned martial weapons from an alcoholic in a leather jerkin, and among hatchets and knives and other stuff that I shouldn't have had when I was 12, uh, he had a chakram, which is just a metal frisbee, and I gotta say, it sucks to throw. So when you're saying, so, so when I was practicing the blade, you were doing this. So I was one practicing step, smaller blades. One step beyond that. It's uh, such a goofy weapon. It's just a metal frisbee. Yeah. It's like you're throwing Odd Job's hat. This so is a cool is there, location. Is so, there any fast travel? Like, yeah, they're horses, right? Yeah, so actually I was able to pick from among three horses um, with, like, with like different attributes, I guess. If you have the Zelda <laughs> uh, amiibo, can you get a Pona? Uh, no, but I got the horse that's... I got the most goat-like horse because it's able to kind of like... Sure. Cling, like cling to walls better, and like just kind of go up steep. Spider horse? <laughs> yeah, I was able to go up like kind of steeper cliffs a little better, and that to me felt more. Because I hate the thing that ruins horses in these games to me is that they're so vertical oh, yeah. that the horse become useless. So I wanted, I wanted the horse that could get up. Hey, Wolfos. Yeah. Question How supernatural is this game? Um, so the one mythological creature that I am allowed to mention is that there are Medusas in this game. But anything beyond that, uh, who knows? Have you seen them yet? Uh, no, not yet, no. Because I'm curious if there are, like, are they actually Medusas, or is it like a weird, that we're uh, early human-alien snake hybrids made by the weirdos who made the not-magic high-tech stuff in the past Again, that I'm, becomes a thing? Again, I'm limited in what I can talk about in regards to that stuff, but mm -hmm. it is, that stuff plays, plays, seems to play more of a role than ever in this game. Sounds... Like all, it could be hilariously bad. Yeah, all that cyber. Which I'm all about. That's great. All that cyber Adam and Eve business. Which is weird to me because this because that that stuff very much puts it with the rest of the Assassin's Creed lore. But besides that, this game seems so disconnected it really, from all that stuff. There are no assassins. It's yeah. just you are a mercenary and doing stuff. Yeah. So which it's is like fine. they just made yeah. So it's just like well, this is our franchise. We got to put the name on it. But like otherwise, we just want to make this other kind of um, just historical action game. But. That kind of with this going through ruins and caves looks a bit like the new Tomb Raider games. Oh, sure. Especially when yeah. you're uh, swimming. Yeah, I see that. Can you equip a torch underwater? Let's see how stupid this is. Okay. Uh, no, I won't. Question. Does it help or hurt it that it's not connected to the Desmond Miles stuff? Oh, I think it helps it. helps it. I think it really Definitely helps it. Definitely helps it. Yeah. Unless they, unless they want to like actually end that stuff and have some dumb payoff, they should. It's just like it's just the endless wheel spinning that. Annoys well, the payoff me. was at the end of one and he, uh, at the end of three, and okay, he died, and then they realized, oh crap, we need to make more of these because they make money. Yeah, so that's that's the endless wheel spinning to me that that bugs me. Like you um, knew that they were out of ideas when they uh, was it. It, was it Syndicate or was it Black Flag, where like the caveat was you are basically a tester for Ubisoft? That was uh, Black Flag when they started that stuff. Um, because if that was like, okay, you have no idea what to do in the modern era, which is fine, just roll with it. Yeah. Uh, I don't like this cave. I'm going to try to get out of this cave. But I don't know if I have enough fast travel points yet. This isn't a good cave. Yeah. Go to Marcos's vineyard. Uh, no, that's the, um, <laughs> that's the main story stuff. Okay. Never so that's mind. what I'm trying to avoid. I thought it was just a vineyard. Yeah. And, okay, you have an oxygen meter, so you can drown. Yeah. You also have incredibly good breath control, so there's that. Yeah, I'm a Spartan, yo. Sure, are you? Yes. I thought maybe you were Athenian, because... Nope. Uh, That's lame. Spartans, Spartans are cool. But weren't Spartans heavily patriarchal? Yeah, but they're cool. Okay. I'm sorry, I don't <laughs> want to invite review bombs for any <laughs> historical inaccuracy of you playing a woman. Yeah. Um, but yeah, but this game is set during uh, the Peloponnesian War, so, expect, uh, so Athens is, is around, and... You know, and you're, Athens you, is still around. Yeah, and, but like, you know, you know Sparta I mean. got wrecked. Athens is still around. So if you want to, you know, badmouth Athens, um, probably shouldn't. But your character isn't beholden to either one of them. They're you're a mercenary, right. and like, and I think later in the game is like swaying the larger military conflict and like participating in these larger battles. Hmm. Um, so let me try. Maybe I'll find a. I'll start a different quest here. So almost like Assassin's Creed Three. Oh yeah, a little bit. Yeah, but like I think. Oops. But Are you going to fight an evil demonic Socrates in the DLC? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, you figure those people got to show up, right? Yeah. Uh, question. 
Is this game more Niles or Frasier? <laughs> um, it's I'm, more f- Frasier. Because it's kind of like bodier. There's a sort of like a Greek, because they're going for like a Greek drama thing. Um, where it's it's like it's comedy and tragedy, and it's kind of more theatrical, and I, 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 it's yeah, it's, it's more of Kelsey Grammer. It's not like live and uptight. It's it's like, it's like wine drunk. I'm just angry at the question. Does that make sense? No. No, that makes sense. Fine. The question doesn't make sense, and I hate it. And the person who asked it. Well, you know, you like Fraser well, either. Question. I'm fine with Fraser. It's good. It's, is I was there in a, Seattle last week. Is there a Trojan <laughs> horse in the game, and can you? Pilot it again. There's got to be again. We we just we we just got this, um, but uh, that would that would be a huge missed opportunity. Although I don't know when that again. I don't know where, when in the timeline of ancient Greece that all happens, because it's like a you know that's there's a lot of stuff going on there. Oh yeah, but also like who cares? This is a place in Assassin's Creed. They need to hit the history bullet points. Yeah. I'm. Uh, Let's start this other quest here then, because I don't feel like uh, exploring that cave. She said a swear. I remember I wrote in my notes, it's like Deadwood. And then, <laughs> and then they're doing these curse words that they surely didn't have time for. Or um, that they didn't have, rather. Well, also, they wouldn't be talking in English either, so there might be some. The What's special about the wood? Lumber. We need lumber. There's plenty of trees around. Why do you need this type of wood? I've been working on a new type of wall. It's more flexible, so it lasts longer and can tiger at greater range. Only a very special kind of wood that grows high in the mountains. Yeah, I need wood with plus 10 range. <laughs> Oh yeah, because uh, Origins had like the the stats for the weapons. Oh too, yeah, right? it's so, like full on RPG. So you're going to get like an upgraded bow from this. Yeah, totally. And like sometimes you'll be locked out of certain weapons because your level isn't high enough. Go like, kill the bandits and get the fucking wood back. Yeah, like I'm only at level two, so I might, I might get a, a bow that's too good for me, honestly. Skill caps are so weird for weapons and equipment. Okay, uh, somewhere. So, find some people to kill, because that is fun. And I kind of want to see how much stealth there is. Wow, that is so completely, like, just Witcher slash Skyrim yeah, stealth stuff. Yeah. It is shameless. Uh, we won't show it here, too, but also the way they do main quests now, they don't show exa- exactly where it is. They give you hints as to where it is. And you have to, like, on the map, intuit out where you need to go. And to me, it's very Breath of the Wild. Sure. In a, in a really good way. It's like, oh, so and so thing is that south of mountain, whatever. I uh, figured it out. You need to you need to defeat the four divine Trojan beasts before attacking Calamity uh, Xerxes. <laughs> That'd be radical. That'd be pretty good. So, are you gonna stealth around or just murder people? Oh no, you have no, to. This you is have like to some, Batman at first. Yeah, you do. Yeah, and this was in Origins too. Um, uh, this feels like it could be a bit formulaic, but like. Maybe with enough variety to just be fun if you like the loop. I wasn't in Origins. Fair enough. But, <laughs> but you know, at least this one, there's only like three points of interest. Whereas in Origins, I feel like it'd be like half a dozen. But also, why do you need to investigate around? Because you have a bird that can fly up and like tag your enemies and identify everything in like a three mile radius. I will always tag my enemies. I will never shut the fuck up. <laughs> Am I out of the area yet? Yeah, I'm, I'm out of the area. Keep saying shut up. It only makes my Assassin's Creed games worse. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but Origins was very good. Oh, yeah, it People was. People really like that one, and they're smart to make one that's like that. Even oh, no, it's a little like, too soon. It is, and it's also like, why do you keep... what? It's purely for the branding at this point. It's like, what does it matter that it has to do with Assassin's Creed? Totally, totally. Although that was really the case like since freaking Ezio. It's like, why are you trying to tie this all together and just kind of make yeah. it a whole thing. Oh, here we go. Uh, to, 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 to get a hit film in theaters starring Michael Fassbender. Wow. When did that come out? Uh, two years ago now. Oh, okay. Okay, so yeah, here well, we go. Tomb Raider come out? Tomb Raider, the, the, the film? Yeah. That came out earlier this year. Okay. Studios, when you're thinking about video game movies, 
consider this, because that's what everyone says when they remember, oh, hey, when's that movie coming? It's out. It went, it's already out of theaters. No one saw it. All right. That was, I went to a press screening for that Tomb Raider movie. Um, so, okay, I so, said no to a press screening for that Tomb Raider movie. <laughs> uh, question. What platform are you playing? Or is this Xbox the One final X. version? Um, it's the review version. I'm sure there'll be a day one patch or something, but this is the they do want us to review this version. It's of it. not beta or like prequel or uh, like uh, prototype or anything like that. Yeah. It's, it's the full game. The full game. Uh, but yeah, Xbox One X. Um, so yeah, this is what I was talking about. So it doesn't tell me exactly where it is, but I have to intuit where they went. Um, they can't have gone further than 250 meters. Yeah, to the west. Okay. So can you deploy your bird or just go to the question mark on the I'm map? gonna guess it's around here. That's about hmm. Yeah. So that's the thing. It usually ends up being a question mark. <laughs> but just having this little extra step makes is it's satisfying. It's yeah, like, it's, oh, you figured it out a little bit. There's more game. Yeah. Like you thought about it, you didn't just follow the breadcrumbs mm -hmm. as as completely. So are yeah. you going to summon Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Tag all the enemies with your diamond hawk. Oh, well, is this dog after me? There's some bad boys on this island. Um, so it's like Dark Souls, right? Like, Dark Souls has trigger... It's like, the, the, it's yep. like light and heavy on the triggers. That was the same with uh, Origins, too. Yep, totally, yeah. This is, yeah. But um, the main kind of difference in combat we'll show off here is you have these kind of MOBA abilities on cooldown, including this Bardic Kick, which I've already invested all my skill points in. Because so this is a game that. that takes place in Greece, and it is any time in history after 300 came out, so you yeah. need to have a Sparta Kick. They invented kicking, the Spartans. I don't know if you knew that. Does it slow down when you kick? Uh, this is a good kick. There's some good impact on it, so we'll, we'll see that. Uh, we yeah, question. but the camera needs to move to the sideways, and there needs to be like a slow motion shot every time. Uh, yeah. Lance Mannion wants to know how you make relations in this game. Um, <laughs> it's through the talking, it's through the dialogue, it's through the choices you make in the story. Again, it's like, it's like Mass Effect or whatever. Press F to do sex. Yeah. So is it all just like through the main storyline or are there just like bathhouses and stuff? <laughs> uh, not, that, not that I've seen. Um, I've only played it with... Uh, the, only, the only romantic I've had, or, I've had in this game uh, was um, the, um, just in the story. Considering how like, there it kind is. Of Witcher, look at that. Uh, considering how kind of Witcher they're going with this, like I would be surprised if there weren't just like you know side quest bangs. Oh yeah, I mean there's a, the, the the breadth of the the different Greek islands I have. Booty quests. No. <laughs> All right, who's left? Um, that's a pretty good kick, right? That's a good kick. I mean, you have a sword, so when questions. How, how effective it is, but It's hey. a good kick! Yeah. Why were his uh, arrows glowing green? Because they were poisoned. Okay. Yeah, and they would do like, you know, damage over time. And so those abilities are governed by, you see that yellow energy bar? That's, each one of those chunks is how I can, how often I can do, um... So it's straight up, you have mana now. Oh, uh, yeah, I mean, you build it up, no, you, you build it up in combat, it's not like... All right. But, but yeah, because otherwise you would just spam it. Like between that and that they're on cooldowns, they want you to just spam it. Because one of them is a heal also. Mm -hmm. um, so you don't, they want you to just heal infinitely. All right, I need to get... I killed all these dudes. I better bring back some wood as proof. Now, <laughs> I need that special wood for that good bow. So I noticed you didn't really do anything stealthy, so not very assassinish. I was trying to show off the kick. Okay. Do you feel that there is a decent amount of like stealth you can do? I mean, yeah, you can like you know you can like crouch and whistle people over and all that business. Because right. um, they're hiding in the tall grass. Yeah. Um, but as much as there ever was like in these kind of later Assassin's Creed games, I, I feel like like this wasn't. They were already starting to get away from that. I yeah. feel like um, they put they like like they've invested so much in their combat now. Yeah. Like even Assassin's Creed Two was basically just once you learn the timing, stealth doesn't matter. You can kill a hundred dudes around you. Yeah, and everyone like you're Batman fighting like goons. <laughs> yeah, and everyone hated all those like tailing missions and yeah. shit. Oh, tailing missions are always the worst. They're worse than escort missions. Yeah. Well, it depends on the escort mission, but they're worse than most escort missions. Yeah. Uh, let's call my horse over. Is that D-Horse? No, it's Phobos is the name of this horse. Can you rename it to D-Horse? Uh, I mean, no, because they say it out loud. Okay. They, were, they weren't going to record all that different dialogue. So you can choose between male and female character. Uh, is there any like visual 
customization, or is it just these? No, because they are characters. Okay. Um, they have names. So they, they are different. They, they, so they are might different. Be slightly different. They have different. They have different backstories, although I see how it's essentially the same backstory. But yeah, they are right. characters, and you can't change after the fact. Okay. So, um, you know, they're fully they're voice acted. And so all that was that. like a level three dude who I guess was red. Is that does that mean he'll attack you if he sees you? Uh, yeah, because he's with the mercenaries who were after me. Okay. So, and if you're level two, like, would he just kill you or? You yeah, I'd would get pretty wrecked probably. All right. I mean, I could fight, but it would not go well for me. Could you sneak up behind him and kill him? It wouldn't kill him. It would if I did that move. It would do a lot of damage, but it wouldn't kill him. Mm. Uh, question. Can you set off a pack of goats to eat away the tall grass to h reveal hidden enemies? Don't know yet. <laughs> um, I feel like that's a Far Cry 2 joke. Yeah, I mean, it's like a pot fields too. Michael Muchmore, do you have thoughts on Assassin's Creed Odyssey? I was just looking at these interesting characters. It's set in ancient Greece. I'm on the island of Kefalonia. Which one was it? The, the one where they're on an island and you have to find the pirates. Oh, okay, oh. Black Flag. Yeah. yeah. It was a good one, but yeah, yeah, slow to start. In fact, before Origins, all of them were incredibly slow to start. Yeah. It's like, hey, have fun with this game, but you need like two hours, then huge personal tragedy, then you can start playing. I. Ancient Greece? Yep. Oh, cool. Do you speak Ancient Greek in it? Uh, no, you say fuck. I don't, know if, I don't know if that's Ancient Greek or not. <laughs> We well, say the ancient Greek equivalent of the word fuck, but yeah. it's like, it's you know. Saxon or something. Um, all right, so let's try to just pick up another. Actually, I want to do a, a sync point, just so I can have another, like a fast travel thing. Go to Mount Enos. <laughs> um, let's do that. I don't even need to try to pronounce it incorrectly to make it funny. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is you know, this is a cool location. Like it's this, it definitely this, this whole it looks good. this whole Mediterranean vibe is is great. It makes me want to just like drink wine. Yeah, or like, just be on a beach. You mm -hmm. know, um, I think I used the word sun bleached in my preview. Um, sure. So I think that Zeus statue. All right, so we were talking off stream about so can you just like climb up all these like finely chiseled asses? Yeah. Um, and let's, let's can you hang from Zeus's dick? Let's see. I mean, we're gonna be on his lightning bolt, so sure. at least metaphorically. But let's see what's on this. What's actually on this statue here? I know. I'm looking at Zeus' ass right now. So. Oh yeah. All right. Hey, so all there right. you go. Yeah. Climb the dick. Climb the dick. Oh wow. All right. Let's actually. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Let's um. Let's get started here. You're watching our new stream. Climb the dick on Geek.com. Wow. I gotta say, it is. Shh. <laughs> God, I want you to, I want you to climb around in this Donkey Kong space. <laughs> okay. No, it's Funky Kong's face. Oh man. All right. So this is the, definitely the thickest Assassin's Creed game yet. It, it is. Put thirsty. that in your. It is thirsty. <laughs> Put that on your ads. This should be the synchronization point. This is what you wanted, and yeah. here it is. So we're doing it. <laughs> <laughs> this is the future liberals want. <laughs> People are looking at it through the window. <laughs> this is a game that is out, or coming out in like a week. Yeah. You can pre-order it. Look there's at our no, coverage on our site. There's not been a bigger own against <laughs> Zeus since that time at the end of God of War 3 where you just beat him to death for yeah. like eight minutes. <laughs> cool. Over or under on how many other streams you think did this? I'm going to say 100%. All of them, yeah. yeah, definitely. I'm not sure how many like recorded from a corporate office in a large glass box, but it's so easy for to just forget that anyone can look in here. Yeah. Yeah, look at all that grease. Synchronizing on lost fast travel, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You've never played a game before. Question. Maybe you know. Maybe you haven't. A lot yeah. of people haven't played games. Yeah, true. So this comes out uh, like a year after Origins. Is 
has it been enough time for you that you'd really want to like jump into? No, the, no this? not at all. It hasn't, because um, they put out a lot of DLC for Origins too. Yeah. They were really good about supporting it. And also, um, like between Spider Man and like Red Dead Redemption Two coming out, it's like we we need to pump the brakes a little bit on open world games because it's easy to get sick. I of mean, them. don't tell that to Ubisoft. Yeah, well, They're like, no, <laughs> shut up. Um, but even just with other Assassin's Creed games, like they did a good job supporting Origins. That I feel like that they could have taken another break. Yeah. Um, and they are. They said they're going to take a break next year, so that's that's good. But um, all right, let's try to maybe find another side quest here. Sure. What are the? Uh... Oh, this is one where I fight a shark. I didn't do. I didn't do this during my preview. All right, let's fight a shark. Yeah. Um, you're gonna, I feel like you were going to say something. I forget. <laughs> I was too distracted by the idea of fighting a shark. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I do think this will get. I do think this will get a, a bit kind of lost in the in the. But granted, there's also not a really ton of stuff coming out this like these last three months. Yeah. Because everyone's afraid of Red Dead. It's like this. Yeah, but like then next, it's October. So like we're looking at, uh, Red Dead's November, is it? Or? Red Dead's end of October. Okay. And also Smash. Yeah, that's uh, beginning of September. But yeah, but yeah it's, it's Smash, it's Pokemon, it's Red Dead, it's this, it's Black Ops, it's Battlefield 5. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like it's kind of a lighter holiday this year. Even though, but then next year it's like four huge games dropping in February. After like yeah. two huge games in January. Which ones are they? I forget. In what? Uh, February and January. Uh, well, if you count, actually, if you count Peachette in January, that's three huge games. Um, but in January, it's, re it's RE2 Remake and Kingdom Hearts 3. Oh, and then February, on the same day, it is Anthem, it is Metro Exodus, it's Crackdown 3, and it's Days Gone. <laughs> what, a, what, a, <laughs> what a bunch! Now, I was misdirected because you said big games. Yeah. When... Anthem, Crackdown 3, and Days Gone basically sound like first-party titles sent to die. But they're big games. They want them to be big games. I don't know if they're going to be. I don't think big is good or means sells well, mm. but they are games They are games that are seen as significant. They're games with the goal of bigness, but yeah. I'm not thinking that bigness will be necessarily applied. The goal of bigness applied. is a real great self-help book. <laughs> you, reach, you, you reach bigness by putting on the super crown. Yeah. Uh, question. Who's your favorite Greek god? Hermes. Um, Ray Fiennes in Attack of the Titans. I don't know, whatever. Greek stuff, uh, it's fine. That's a hot, is that a hot take? <laughs> Greek mythology, eh? Greek stuff, eh, it's fine. No, Eris. There. Yeah, I mean, it's, I don't want to offend our Greek listeners, so I won't get into it's, it's just, it's, just, it's like ancient Egypt. It's good that it's coming after Egypt, and it's, like, it's countries that it's, the most interesting shit happened like thousands of years ago. Yeah. Um, that's mean. What's drag me? Uh, money. Uh, okay, great. Um, we probably won't see it here because it involves leaving the island, which is kind of a spoiler. But yeah. there is a lot of boat stuff in this game too, like um, you know, like how it was in Origins and Black Flag. Because again, you're like sailing across all the different Greek islands, so um, that sounds that, fun. That stuff is as cool as it was. So. Can you use Greek fire? Uh, yeah, there's something like flaming arrows and stuff to, to deal with. Um, that would not surprise me. It was like a different boat upgrade, but. So I like how I bailed on one subquest because I didn't want to go swimming, and then I was like, "Let's fight a shark!" Yeah. I like how this is ancient Greece, but it's still like, "Yeah, screw it, ruins are everywhere anyway." Like, you, it isn't like, "Oh, where's this new building where this stuff's happening?" Well, it's just it's being in a meeting in America. We're just so used to even our oldest buildings being like 300 years old yeah. and not like <laughs> thousands of years old. But it just goes like, "Oh, there are ruins over there." It's like they were built last year, dude. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I gotta find. I got I gotta into it where this is again. So, the Islet of Zeus. So it's off the coast. It's south Can of you Asia. zoom in closer to see like more names? Uh, so I mean, there, there they are. All right. Uh, I'm gonna guess that for right now. So how do you feel about the oversexualization of Bowser? Um, whatever. People are having a good time. Yeah. Let's go. Um. If they, I can't believe that they managed to make a, a, Wii, a switch port of a of New Super Mario Brothers U, a big the talk new, of the town. <laughs> yeah, that, that's that's really the, the that's really the offensive part to me. The idea that that game is something people are now hyped about. The idea why put out 
What was so beautiful about Mario Maker, the last video game ever released, right. was that it made all those new Super Mario Brothers games irrelevant. You yeah. could recreate them in Mario Maker. Like you could make it you could make it better if they like made a Mario Maker 2 that added like slopes. Yeah. But that's it. Yeah. So like the idea like slopes and Yoshi's Island. So the idea of them putting out a Mario game that theoretically could have been made in Mario Maker to me is like deeply offensive. Yeah. Um, it's not as offensive as the fact that it's more likely that they would belatedly add Bowsette to that game than add native voice chat to any of their first party Switch games. You see how that art from Mario Odyssey came out that was like they were toying the idea of doing that? Yeah. Yeah. So there they know. Like, uh, what the hell would voice chat work in Mario Odyssey? Mario Odyssey? No, I mean, no, not voice chat. I mean, Bowser. Bowser yeah, that Bowser would have his own hat that he would put on things and okay. become them. They had like concept art. There's a lot of concept art on the internet of that now, I tell you what. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, I, I just had it here to set, set to follow the road. My favorite thing about Bowsette, you know, despite the most obvious things, is uh, the counter version of that, of what would happen if Peach or Daisy put on Bowser's shell? Oh, that's like, which, a, re that's like a reverse mermaid. Which brings Prince Punch and Prince Diesel. What? Diesel? Oh. Instead of Daisy and Peach. It's like, make Ew. them huge, beefy dragon dudes. I feel like you're not with me on this journey. No. Just go to the Island of Zeus. I'm just letting the gameplay play itself. <laughs> Cause I got my I got my good climbing horse. Uh, question. Just run away, boy. <laughs> I can probably do arrows. What's the biggest thirst character reveal in the last few years? Sexy Ryu, uh, gender swapped Terry Bogard, or Bowsette? Um Gender swapped Skull of Mania, which is coming out to S and K Heroines. Yeah, but that game kind of no one cares about that game. Um, I mean, that would still be Terry Bogart too. That yeah, uh, that's why I'm also discounting that character. Um, and sexy Ryu, like he he's hot Ryu. I would say he is like as a per like individually is kind of sexless. Like he only focuses on n n nothingness and fighting. I Ryu mean, doesn't fuck. The key, I mean, the key to these characters is, I think, also a bit that they're sex sexless because it allows no more, Bowser does no it allows more projection. Mm -hmm. I think. It makes him safe a bit in a way. I, eh. um, I went to a I went to a, a panel about Hot Ryu about lighting. <laughs> it was really just a kind of a Trojan horse, hey, about <laughs> just, about like how to do about just proper lighting in your games because it was okay. looking at lighting in Magic Mike and just how to use lighting to create a certain kind of mood. Uh, it was Robert Yang. He does a lot of kind of like queer sort of mini games. Oh, yeah. Um, so that was an interesting panel. It was like, which probably folds into the interesting th stuff about bisexual lighting. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. There's actually a really interesting video uh, by uh, Kyle Kalgren. He does a sort of art house video analysis on YouTube. And he did this video essay on bisexual light lighting and sort of it's, the reason it works and that it is appealing is because it's unnatural. Which, which counterintuitively turns into a comfortable thing if you feel like you do not naturally fit. So it works really well sort of as like a deeply personal thematic like extension which doesn't really apply a whole lot when we're looking at a lot of beiges and blues and greens of, say, ancient Greece, but if they ever made a Assassin's Creed Odyssey blood dragon, I'd be all over it. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's cool, though. That's a cool point. Yeah. Uh, this is Phoebe. She's kind of my ward, or this kind of, this, this uh, hang around. I don't know what the term is. Will you take her on missions? Uh, no. Uh, there's a plot point involving her that is a spoiler. So. Okay. <laughs> um. I assume she dies or dies. But you can't say. Yeah, I mean, no comment. Yeah. I haven't touched it, and I haven't played it yet, so I can say she does, because I'm assuming... Because this is the start of an Assassin's Creed game. I mean, she's not my kid. It's not like in Origins where it was your kid. Yeah. I mean, also, I like also two character from Origins. They, have, they just have all this kind of leftover, like, vague brown skin tech. Yeah. You know? <laughs> all these spicy whites. I will say she's like kind of funny and annoyed in a way. I feel like a lot of the best Assassin's Creed characters tend to be. That's good. Also, the fact that enough time has passed that after Spicy Brown, I can t start talking again because. Oh no! Yeah. I said spicy. I said spicy whites. Spicy whites. Oh yeah. Yeah. Vague Brown. Yeah, you know, you're Greeks, you're Italians. Those should be the new Pokemon games. Pokemon Vague Brown and Spicy White. Spicy White would be a pretty good name for anything. Uh, let's check that one instead. Can I take Spicy White as my DJ name? No, you can't. Okay. You didn't come up with it. I didn't come up with it either. <laughs> um. So go to the... Wh why, why are you going to the question mark for? 
Um, well, that was the other quest I was tracking, but I got okay. bored, so I tracked another. I'm picking up another quest. Oh yeah, we're still going to the shark. Yeah. Well, not anymore. Now I'm doing this blood. I'm, I'm taking it, looking at these like sick villagers for Phoebe. This is what open world games do. It's like you, here's a new thing to do, then do some other stuff. Yeah. So you, you just kind of like, see cool junk along the way. Kill some more wolves. That's poor doggies. Dog kicking simulator 2018. God, that sounds like a t 2008 new ground top pick. <laughs> uh, question. Can you Sparta kick the shark? Uh, we'll see. I definitely Sparta kicked a bear during my, <laughs> one of my previews. Wow. Um, and like, if you Sparta kick somebody off of a cliff, they'll die. Like, they'll, they'll take the fall damage and die. Not just in this game. Yeah. So <laughs> it's kind of a universal rule. So it's almost kind of like an immersive sim, or like it's mm -hmm. like a, it's, it feels more broken than I think they maybe wanted, but it works. Like, it feels like a mistake almost. What? Oh, assassinate. Sure. <laughs> Kill the priests. Okay, I like how assassination was punching him twice and then stabbing him. There's not a whole lot of subtlety going on. I want to get out my other weapon I have. The big halberd? Yeah. Um, we probably won't get to it, but you do at some point get... I don't think you can change oh. it if you're in mid-swing. Oh, that makes sense. All right, let's try it now. Maybe I can't even do it out of combat. Maybe I can't even do it in the middle of combat. All right. Yep. Um, but you probably won't get to it, but yeah, you do just get like straight up that Assassin's Creed hood, even though, again, of course. there's no assassin. Sure. Oof. <laughs> oh, that's radical. That's a pretty great kill. Yeah. This is some real, um, what's the name for that genre? Swords and Sandals? I guess. Yeah, like, like Conan the Barbarian type yeah. business. Spartacus. Yeah, yeah, that's what the, yeah. I mean, Xena too, like, yeah, yeah, I think that's the term for that genre. Yeah, the Xena was like so, like, bloodless and super camp. Yeah. Um, what was it, Robert E. Howard? Mm. Man, between this and Spider-Man, we have a lot of things being inspired by Sam Raimi this week. Yeah. <laughs> uh, question. <laughs> Is there ever any real subtlety here, someone's asking? Like, because there doesn't seem to be any, like, hidden blade or anything. Like, you're just running around in broad daylight swinging a dude. I mean, yeah, you can do, you can, like, crouch and, like, kind of <laughs> distract people. But, like, yeah, like, I, if you don't want to do that, they're not, they're definitely not forcing you. There's subtlety in crouching. Give me your money. Assassin's Creed, fuck you, pay me. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, they're definitely not they're not wedded to any particular kind of playstyle, I feel. Mm. You know, you know, loud or quiet. So it said engraving unlocked. What does that mean? That's kind of like your weapon and armor mod system, I think. Um, so now I leveled up, I've new I have a new uh, ability point. Uh, what do I want here? This uh, rushdown move is pretty good. So no, what let's look at the other ones you got though. I got that. Because what's in the assassins? That's thing? that's a good point. Uh, Okay, so just increase and automatically loot the body. That's cool. Uh, poison's rad. And just straight up, I don't want to use the bird. <laughs> yeah, this was an origin too, I think. Um, this these different kind of uh, skill trees. Yeah. And of course, using arrows. Yeah, different kind of arrows. Uh, I still want that kind of bull move though, because I don't. I just like to kind of like. I like to kind of just plow through games with as little friction as possible. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> so. Oh. Whatever, yeah. And you can upgrade these too, so like you get more skill points and can like just do more damage with them, I guess. Yeah. Cool. Um, let's see the with the with the with the engravings. So, uh, now, can you change that at any time, or do you need to like go to a blacksmith? Uh, it might be. Yeah. Go to blacksmith to engrave. All right. Yeah. So. Yeah, I mean, yeah, these games systems. have these games have systems on systems because mm -hmm. they, they they are made by a French empire of video game colony studios. That it's not French. It is a team of many uh, nationalities and national origins, and faiths. And yeah, they just they just they just all, they just all support the crown. Yeah. So um, another Ubisoft open world game coming out next month: uh, Starlink Battle for Atlas. Oh yeah, that game looks really neat. I played that pretty recently too. It's the Star Fox game we should have gotten instead of Star Fox Zero. Totally, or Star Fox Assa uh, Assault or Adventures. Um. If you're expecting me to disagree with you, that's it. that ain't happening. Yeah, no. Uh, I mean, that DS one. That, I thought that DS one was pretty good. But yeah, yeah, it was okay. But I'm just yeah. excited to getting like an R wing figure. Oh yeah, it's really nice. Mm. It's really cool. 
Is the R wings cool? Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's an open world game, um, and it looks pretty neat. It, it, the, it, the, making it, there's so much of it that's like a third person shooter. When you're, but with your, but it still has kind of ship control. Because there are parts where you're just on the ground in your ship. Yeah. And it still kind of feels like a ship, but then it's also like a third person shooter. Can you change the R wing to the Landmaster? Uh, no. Um, but that, that, that makes that combat feel really kind of nimble and fast in a way that is almost like Vanquish to me. That, or like, uh, you know, like Doom a little bit. You know that anything is like Vanquish is good? Yeah. Like you're, like, you're like slowing people down and like popping up into the air to shoot them. Like it's, yeah. Or like you have a gun that's like a home, like, like it just homes you in and rams them into the guy. So. What if Nintendo announced that they'd be publishing Vanquish 2? That would be, uh, that'd be really great. That would be something. Yeah. I mean, they're, they're already publishing they, Bayonetta 3. They're doing Bayo 3, and they did too. So. Yeah, so that's already, they're already uh, doing a lot for uh, Platinum there. Um, Sometimes Platinum can use all the help it can get. Yeah, but that's not Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Those mm -hmm. are different games. So I'm back <laughs> to trying to find this shark. Question. Yar, can the you eat, Bandit. <laughs> can you eat gyros? They're pronounced gyros. Uh, I mean, you can like skin animals and loot their meat and whatnot, but I don't think you're like. But uh, can you put them on a spit and roast it slowly over hours and mm. then put it in a delicious pita? Uh, not that I've seen. <laughs> Again, that's another. That's the next thing they gotta steal from Zelda is a real uh, intricate cooking system. Bandit restricted area. Yeah. It's still it's still just that Assassin's Creed like effect of the interface is going to always keep you a little bit out of it. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Like, not even just, like, when you die and it all becomes, like, disintegrating diamonds, like Thanos snapped his fingers. It's like, just the interface is going to be weirdly, you know, restricted I mean, area. I mean, when you, like, you do the, like, you, you kill the bosses, and, like, there's that, that, there's that weird void. Oh, the, yeah. Yeah. Since the first one. That's been great. Yeah. Okay. So... I just kind of thought they were funny. All right, so this wasn't what I was looking for. So I thought I knew where it was, and I didn't. So I gotta go, kind of go look somewhere else. Uh, question though. We had a very specific question. Someone yeah. asks, "Can you just have your horse auto following the road and then switch to your bird to like, as if you were just like watching yourself?" Like, oh, uh, that sounds pretty blessed. Let's find that out. Yeah. Oops, no, wrong animal button. <laughs> um, okay, so I gotta get back and kind of go a road here. Find your road, get your horse, then do nothing. Okay, yeah, that's totally like, well, any game where you can summon a horse. It's just Roach appearing from behind nowhere. All right, all right. Oh, uh, here we go. You're directing yourself. Huh. Ah, great question. Yeah, that's some good mechanics, I guess. Are you going <laughs> the wrong is, way? This is so good, I love this. <laughs> Oh, I'm reckoning, like, can I, like, get real low? Ah, <laughs> uh, no, I can't go any lower. It doesn't feel like I can go any lower than this. This would be what's what, like to, like, play Assassin's Creed after having chugged a bottle of Diamond Tap. This is the first... Just, like, I'm floating outside of the third-person view. Yeah, this is, like, the first second-person video game. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, no, it's a third... It's a bird-person game. Think about that. Think about that pun. Shut up. I hate you. It's a bird person I action. Hate you. The bird person Shut action up. adventure. There's a bad place you can go for this. <laughs> it's what bird pre people call a dick move. Yeah. <laughs> so where are you going? Or are um, you just where I randomly think, going? No, I'm going to where I think I should investigate to find this other quest. Because I didn't get it right the first time. Is it actually following a waypoint now, or is it just following the road? Uh, it's following. It looks like oh, it's it could just, be just going that. around the road. That's true. It could be just doing that. Um, whatever. Hey, um, try to kill that dude. What guy? Who? Oh, that mercenary? Yeah. Yeah, why not? When you're level three now, you might be able to. Oh, that's like the, the, that's like the actual kids. mercenary. <laughs> that's like the main guy who's trying to come after me. Oh. Wow. Kick him. That's that new That's ability that I got. Ugh. Wow, he's taking a lot of health. Yeah, because I'm really underleveled. It's kind of like when you're like running around in God of War and you just find a character that's level 8 and you die. See, that, that to me is a bit bullshit. Because it just feels like a way to like gate content in oh, a way. Oh yeah, no it is. Um, that's 
what level systems are. Yeah, so like the idea of more just kind of otherwise action adventure games adopting that to me I find really annoying. Yeah. Although, like, Origins did it first before the new God of War. Yeah, I mean, yeah. So. Yeah, you know, Origins. I'm not. I don't have. I have some issues with that game. Yeah. You know. It was good. It was really good. It was definitely a lot better than some other Assassin's Creed games. But like, I wasn't. I wasn't super enraptured with it being a fun RPG. I didn't feel like that. Like, I felt like just more often than not, that was just keeping me away from doing things and like, I don't know, having me do more. Th- allow me to do more things. And it goes even harder into it with this game. I'm not sure I'd say harder, but it's definitely it's on the same level. Okay. Yeah. You excited about Red Dead? Um. I don't like the first Red Dead all that much. Fair enough. Um, but this one, to me, this one um, is interesting. That it's the first Rockstar game. This was wild to me. It's the first Rockstar game built from the ground up for this generation of consoles. This generation of consoles, which is like almost over. Yeah. So that's interesting to me. Because that's what Rockstar does, and they've been able to get an absurd amount of money through GTA 5 microtransactions. Yeah, but like even more so than ever. Because like think about it, like last generation was GTA 4 and 5 yeah. and Red Dead. Um, so, that, yeah, that's in- that's interesting to me. But um, when are they going to make Rockstar Table Tennis Two for the Switch? <laughs> oh, there you go. Yeah, you know, I think that the fact that even like maybe I played like a half an hour of this version before we started. Yep. The fact that we were able to have like a pretty good and varied stream of just side stuff just yeah, in the beginning. Yeah, no, solid. Um, I think it's you know. And you aren't like looking at like a tiny fraction of the map, I assume. Yeah, I'm just on one. I'm just on one island. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. Again, this is like the this is like the tutorial island. So. Okay, so this is a minor side quest. Go find out if gods are real. Yeah. That dude could just be super baked. Oh, no, they're not swimming. You can probably use a torch. Uh, you can't summon your bird. It's an exploration yeah. area. <laughs> See, just UI taking you out of it. Yeah. Well, I remember like 2008 when the hot new thing was that there was like no HUD in games. Mm. It was like Dead Space where it's like, oh, his health is built into his suit. Yeah, but... Then we realized, oh wow, that's a really, really stupid design. Yeah. Oh, this is a good. This is a good little bit. I remember this bit. All right. <coughs> Question. Can you think of a game where you liked the crafting system? <laughs> I like oh. the crafting, but. Oh. Granted, part of it is because of because I have this job, I have to play a lot of games, and I don't have, I, I resent system to me that just make me feel like I'm spending more time than I otherwise would. So I don't I don't have the time to play them all the way. So that's part of it for sure. I kind of like crafting systems, but I also recognize that they are absurdly tedious for most people. Yeah, I think Spider Man does it pretty well though. Uh, uh, yeah, I've not. Yeah. Uh, you just uh, like there are four or five types of tokens that you get from just like doing side stuff. And then you just use the tokens to get new suits, and then that's it. I tried to be stealthy there for a hot second. Didn't work out. It's hard to be stealthy when you're wielding the war scythe. Yeah. I mean, I have a weird soft spot, and it's not really the same thing, but I have a weird soft spot for Lego Worlds, mm. in that it's like just like, oh, like, it's like, oh, like, uh, like Minecraft, but it's Lego. Like, it's such a, such a just an obvious idea. Um, but they, they, I don't know, the way they, they really went in, they really went, uh, went all in for it. Yeah. Um, so do you pronounce it Scythe or Scythe? Scythe. All right. I think. Because it was an exploration area, now it's an eradication area. Yeah. I like that it names the people you're killing. But not all of them, just the ones that matter. Yeah, the Leo. It's just like in real life. Wow, dark. But these are dark times. In yeah, this cave. again, remember democracy? Yeah.
But hey, you got a skirt off that guy. Yeah. Uh, well, I should be tracking. I, I'm tracking the wrong quest. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're pretty far off. Yeah. But now, now, now it's right. All right. Yeah. Do you have like a load limit or encumbrance, or can you just like s grab everything? I think you just grab everything. If it's like Origins, I like, use grab everything. Yeah, that's fine. Can you do anything else in this cave? Is there like are there like secret treasures? Are there like is there good loot, or do you just do that through? The I side mean, it's probably quest? just yeah, yeah. It's just the, it's the do, doing the side quest like gets mm. that loot. I suppose it's rewarding, but also like just the idea of like these the uh, Ezio games where like you went into those tombs for like the challenge stages, and then like you got really rad armor for it. Yeah, I mean they just turn that into side quests. Yeah. Is the equipment uh, procedural like Fallout 4, or is there actual care put into it like Fallout 3? Um, I, I don't know. Okay. Um, it, feels, it feels like they made it. Because hmm. um, it, doesn't, it doesn't feel that infinite to me, you know? Well, that's good. But I don't know. Mm. Question. I don't know if I saw you use it earlier. Do you still have that sort of... Um, I don't know, it's, it's like detective vision, whatever they call it in Assassin's Creed, animus pulse. That's um, an extra skill I mean, you can get. I where mean, it's you the can bird just like now. see, but like if you want to see like nearby loot or something like that. Oh, that was a, that's something in the text tree that I didn't pick. Yep. Oh, okay. Now, um, where is that? Uh, yeah, this. I Revelation. Didn't, uh, yeah, I didn't upgrade this, but yeah. Um, what's the thing? My it's already in Assassin's Creed Revelations. <laughs> I have a better bracer now. Let's do that soon. Do I have better shoes? Alright. Are there other skins for your horse? Can you skin your horse? <laughs> no gods in the caves. Only bandits stealing people's hopes and left me. <gasps> I knew it! Thieves! So you know you don't face this as well. Maybe you'll take pity on me. I hope Zeus paid his wrath on those bandits. Don't worry. I do appreciate that you're just like this nonplussed Xena person. Yeah, she's she's good. And before I've seen the the dude character, she's definitely less annoying than he mm -hmm. is. So it's like Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Uh, totally, yeah, totally. Um, I just want to try one more thing in this cave here. I think this is, if it's this, if it's the same cave I'm thinking of from my my play this before. There's another kind of neat little bit here. Yeah, if I can talk to this uh, mm -hmm. person, let's let's see what's going on here. And that can be the last thing we do because we're coming up on an hour. Yep. <laughs> she ain't having it. <laughs> okay. Uh, maybe it's a different cave that I'm thinking of. Um, I, no. Why is she talking Greek? Everyone else is talking English. <laughs> she, she's just trying to keep it authentic. Uh, I thought that this, this was a mission, but... Uh, I guess not. There's a, there's a mission where you like pretend to be a god, like talking behind the statue, and just kind of like... <laughs> Convince somebody? I thought it was this one, but maybe it's a different one. Or maybe I messed it up by bumping into her, who knows? That's possible. Either way. Yeah. Let's, um, maybe, let's just find one more kind of sink point here. Just see some more climbing. Sounds good. <clears throat> uh, maybe we do we'll another statue we can mm -hmm. just, like, hang Dong off of. So, next week, uh, we probably aren't having a stream because it'll be New York Comic Con. Yeah, we'll be out at Comic Con, so... Sorry. But there will be lots of interesting stuff from the show there, so you can keep it on geek.com for it. Yeah, what are you excited to see at New York Comic Con? I don't know yet. Um, I've got an answer. It's nothing so far. I kind of want to see Titans. <laughs> I mean, it's out soon, right? Like, yeah. yeah. I'm just expecting it to be hilarious. Yeah. Uh, actually, I don't know. I'm kind of I'm interested in seeing... Um, I'm going to go see Lego DC Villains. Oh, yeah. I want to try DMC5. Oh, yeah, that's going to be there, too. Uh, they announced that Michael Ironside is going to be dark side in that, like he was in the DCAU. Good. So I'm very excited about that. Michael Ironside's fantastic. Yeah. No, yeah, so he's, yeah, he's back reprising all his famous roles in video games. Dark side, uh, Sam Fisher, the guy from Total Recall. You mean Richter? Yep. Hey, maybe we'll see him at the party. <laughs> yeah. No, I bet, be, I bet it'd be just sad if you saw Michael Ironside at a party. I'd be all about it because I think he's great. Yeah, but I mean, I don't want it to be ruined. Yeah. 
But I do kind of have like an idea of like the world's greatest Passover Seder of like get Ron Perlman, Michael Ironside, Kurtwood Smith. I don't care if they're not Jewish. Oh, wow. like, it would still be an amazing. That's Seder. a real monster. That's yeah. a real monster squad. That's my expendables. Uh, speaking of monsters, you hear that Ron Perlman's going to be in Monster Hunter, the film. Yeah, I did. Yeah. I like Monster Hunter. That, I mean, this movie's going to be awful. I mean, be, just by the by, by virtue of being a movie, it's already going to be easier to sit through than any Monster Hunter game. I'll give it that. I think you're wildly overestimating how bad it can be. It can only be two hours at most. It can only, you know... I mean, unless it's like, oh, wait for these animations to finish before I can get to the next scene. The worst thing is I can't even defend Monster Hunter because while I like it, you're right to hate it. Yep. I can't deny that it's... I like some things that are bad, okay? I like Monster Hunter. I like Dark Souls. I like hanging out with you. Burn! Yeah. Do you have any questions? Rule of three for comedy. Where are we at? Uh, we should have done the Zeus one last. This is a way less interesting. Yeah. <laughs> no, nothing else is going to be as interesting to hang off of after Zeus. Every sink point in this game needs a giant dick. Yeah. Uh, we do have a question, it looks like. Just to sum things up, when is this coming out? This comes out uh, next week, I believe October 5th. Hmm. Um, something like that. So That's why we were limiting what we talk about. Yep. But. But there's another lovely sink point with that. Oh, question. Oh, yeah. Also... Is it limited to four slots for weapon and armor type? Or is there more, or is it unlimited? Slot. What do you mean? Like I slot? Like inventory? This is four slots. I don't know what it's like for switching between them or what. Uh, I mean, I forget. I mean, I, forget. Mean, I, mean, I don't know about this one. I don't think how, how, was, how was it in Origins? I feel like it wasn't. I don't remember it being limited in Origins. I feel um, like Yeah, I don't know. I don't feel like I didn't feel like I was having to like get rid of things though in Origin. I feel like I was just, or rather, like, not because I had to like run out of room. Yeah, but but I don't know. That's a good question. I don't think we know. I don't think so. That that's my guess. I don't I don't think so. Uh, let me just see here. Now that, that's kind of, kind of bugging me a little bit. I mean, yeah, I just don't have any I more weapons. Just yeah, though, I don't have, I don't have yeah. more weapons yet. Yeah, I don't think it's. Um, now I am limited in those abilities that I have, the, you know, the right. kick and all that. I am limited to what I can put there, but as far as, far as equipment, I don't think so. But now you need to equip. Are all those abilities on the trees active, or are some of them passive that you don't need to equip? Uh, some of them are passive. Okay. Yeah. So, but yeah, all right. Assassin's Creed Odyssey. It's out next week. Uh, yeah, we'll be at near Comic Con, so probably no stream. But look forward to all of our content from that. Yep. Uh, pray for our America. <laughs>